everybody. Thank you for joining into this uh, next video in our gigantic series. I'm, I'm assuming it's becoming giant, gigantic now. All right, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit more about um, web application pen testing uh, and SQL, uh, structured query language. Now, why should you care as an ethical hacker? Why should you care about uh, about SQL? You hate databases to begin with, right? <laughs> Well, ditto. I kind of reflect that same sentiment. However, SQL, SQL is used all over, all over the place. When you look at a web page these days, uh, when you look at a web page, uh, it's not static content. The content is gen dynamically generated. Uh, SQL uh, is used uh, to retrieve, uh, retrieve usernames, uh, different types of qualities about a particular web page, uh, and further on, it holds usernames, passwords, emails, personal information. Uh, so it is definitely a huge target in the world of web application penetration testing. So we're going to go talk about SQL map and how to enumerate a database right there, here and now. So let's go ahead and open up a open up a little terminal over here. Let's go ahead and find our target, ARP scan uh, L. Uh, I don't need to I don't need really to run nmap. Uh, I mean we know it's running it's running right now. It's outside of the what I want to do with this. So let's go ahead and open this up. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up in Firefox 10040. Put the and stand right there, and it should launch by itself. Great. All right, so here we have our DC8 server running uh, powered by Drupal. Uh, Drupal is a alternative. No, I don't want to go to Drupal. Drupal is an alternative to WordPress. It is uh, a CMS content management uh, content management server. Uh, not as popular as WordPress, uh, but it's still around. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and move on over here. And you know, the verse, you know, we're clicking around here and we see up here. Whatever, if you ever wonder what this is, these are queries or query strings going to the database. Let's go ahead and take a look at the take a look at the inspect element portion over here. And let's go ahead and check a look, take a look at our network. Boom, let's take a look here. All right, so we get these uh, get commands. Nid equals two. Query string is nid equals two. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use that same, let's go ahead and use that same query string, that same query string um, to try to enumerate the web server. And what do you know? Okay, it gave us a, gave us a nice little string over here. Again, that's not use, uh, using nothing fancy but the built-in i guess you could say debugger uh, system in firefox however you can use burp suite as well and i'll show you guys some other time uh, how to use this in conjunction with uh, burp suite so let's go ahead and talk about well let's actually make this a little bit bigger save your eyes okay and okay and let's just go ahead and use sq sql map okay sql map dash u dash u be for the url uh, that we're going to 10040. The magic, the magic bit is right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and say, let's see if this is if this is vulnerable to SQL injection. All right, uh, it went really fast because it's on the local network, but looks like here are some following injection points. Uh, looks like the git nid git parameter is okay. Uh, is available. We have some blind injection, and then we have union queries available for us. Um, okay, we'll talk more about that as we, we progressively become more com uh, more learned uh, in this space. So let's go ahead and clear that up. All right, so we know we know that SQL map has told us that this particular database is vulnerable. Uh, however, I want to enumerate what the database names are. Dash dash DBS will tell us all the databases that are attached, at least that we can get to. Okay, well, looks like over here we have information schema. Typically, that is a database that is used uh, to, I guess you could say, uh, describe the structure of the databases uh, held within. Uh, but the more important one to me is D7DB. Okay, so we have, we have access to D7DB. We don't need to enumerate the databases anymore as in actually just the names, I can just say capital D rather than the dash dash um, dash dash DPS. I can just go, go say D7DB and I can just say, you know what, let's query this database by itself. Okay. No, no, I think it wants it wants another uh, it wants another argument over here. D7DB. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tables. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tables uh, in this one. Now I'm going to say, you know, um, SQL map, I uh, present you with the, the URL. 
the query string there associated with it. I want you to enumerate these seven DB. I want you to bring back the tables, and I want you uh, in this batch command. Just, well, I'll show you what this batch command does. The batch command uh, displays this information for us in this batched format. Now let's take a look at all the different, all the different, um, all the different values that there was the different tables that are associated with this uh, database here. Actions, off block, type, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually looking for something a little bit more specific. In this case, I want users. Okay, so we have a table named users. I want to know what's more, what? I want to know what exactly is in the users, in the users table. So what I can do is I can say, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. D7DB, capital T, dash T, users, and I want you, uh, let's go ahead, and I want to know what's in the users table. This might look pretty ugly. And, no, nope, might as well just dump the information to me. Okay, that is pretty ugly. One more time. All right, so in this ugly format over here, I can see that... Uh, I can see that there's several, uh, okay, name and pass, and I can see over here that there's, looks like something, a salted value, a salted value over here. We have admin, we have John, okay, that's not the prettiest format in the world, uh, but we're getting to where we need to be. All right, so let's, you know what, let's make this a little bit cleaner. Instead of just enumerating the users table, let's go ahead and pull up the columns as well. Now, in this particular case, we did pick out name and pass, so let's just go ahead and say name pass and I'm going to go ahead and say dump this information to me and there we go looks like over here we have found ourselves we have found ourselves uh, we have found ourselves a, a particular uh, set of information that is extremely valuable uh, looks like over here we have found admin and John uh, to be uh, to be part of the users table uh, undoubtedly there are logins uh, to uh, this Drupal server over here so we can just save this information and go through okay so if you learned something today please like share and subscribe uh, and be uh, be in tune with uh, the next video that we have in the series and I'm just going to start that up right now I'm just trying to make it uh, 8 bit I'm gonna try to make it uh, 10 minutes or less all right